During the month of April, law enforcement in our neighborhoods are reminding you to keep your eyes on the road and hands on the wheel to make sure everyone stays safe. There's a lot of distractions going on and it's gotten a lot worse for our drivers. Lieutenant Renee Gonzalez with the Michigan State Police Department says distracted driving can look like a lot of things. Talking on your cell phone, eating, putting on makeup, reading, checking on the kids. And these things might seem harmless to some, but they can be dangerous. You could be okay, but what if you hit somebody? What if you hit a kid on a bike? Lieutenant Gonzalez says in 2022, there were over 15,000 crashes in the state that were attributed to distracted driving. Out of those, we had 5,000 injuries and 57 deaths were attributed to that. And it was all because of distracted driving that we can prove. April is National Distracted Driving Awareness Month and MSP is cracking down and doing their part to make sure people are paying more attention while on the road. We're putting extra patrols out there, extra troopers out there, actually targeting distracted driving. And one important thing you must know, you cannot have your phone in your hand while driving in Michigan. The hands-free law, which went in effect June of 23 makes it illegal to hold your phone at all. So we're going to be targeting those people. So even if they're not distracted, they have that phone in their hand, they could be stopped and cited. And that goes in stages. You have a first, second, and third offense where the fines keep increasing and you're going to have to start going to driving school. A careless driving ticket and improper lane use are also things that can be consequences for distracted driving. But to avoid all of this and keep everyone safe, Lieutenant Gonzalez says just focus on the road. Drive the posted speed limit, wear your seatbelt, pay attention to what you're out there doing, and that, that's going to help bring down those traffic crashes and those fatalities. For Fox 47 News, I'm your neighborhood reporter, Tiana Jenkins.